today, continuing with the, uh, uh, the, the theme of time uh, and, and for you to get more efficient with your time. Um, I'm just going to take a couple of moments. I'm just about to step out. It's um, what we're we looking at now, 20 to 7. I'm heading up to Birmingham this evening because I'm doing a, a course over the next couple of days. But I wanted to share this with you. So we talked about five top tips yesterday. And I had a, a think today uh, about um, you know an area to share. Um, and there's a study done by a guy called B.F. Skinner. And he did a, you know, some years ago, did a study with uh, with rats and, you know, clicking a lever and you know if if you you start to build a your routine in there every hundred times the rat would get excited but it came up with the notion of random reinforcement and actually that when you started to randomize when the reward was uh, uh, given at the, the, you know at what point the, the, the rat clicked the lever uh, then then what you ended up with with a, a different and, and a greater air of excitement from from the rat um, and in many respects for us that's exactly the same you might ask yourself, where am I heading with this tonight? And you know, what, what's the po per point of, of random reinforcement? How's that working or got anything at all to do with time? Well, here it is. How many of you wake up first thing in the morning and check your emails? How many of you wake up first thing in the morning and go straight to your social media uh, and have a look and see you know, who, who in the night has uh, <clears throat> been in touch? How many of you respond immediately to, uh, you know, <coughs> excuse me, um, to the email pings, and I talked about Pavlov's dogs yesterday. How many of you programmed to that? Well, it, it really links closely to random reinforcement. How many of those emails, how much of that social media content is really exciting? Arguably, not much at all, except for the hit that every now and again you'll get a, you know, an email that will be you know, significant, there'll be a real focus to it, you know, something great has come in. But how much of a distraction is that for you? How many times do you, you know, go through these emails and then start plowing through them and before you know it, you've wasted a couple of hours um, and, and been distracted from you know, what it is you really needed to get focused on in terms of what you're working on that particular time. So in many respects, having you know, access uh, as we do today on so many different levels to information on emails, your smartphones, your tablets, uh, actually can be a major distraction. Well, there's an easy way to resolve that one. Um, and, and, and the first one is, is simply this. Stop it. Easy as that. Stop picking up your phone and checking those emails first thing in the morning. Stop responding to those alarms and alerts and bells and bleeps that come through on your phones. Turn them off, in fact, and program at a particular time of the day where you can go and check uh, and, and see for yourself what information is coming through under your circumstances. Uh, don't have all your Facebook uh, um, alerts and alarms going off. Just stop it. Start to, to focus on actually just, you know, allowing yourself particular times in the day to, to, do, to, you know, to do that stuff, to, to go through and check on that information, to, to, the, to then program in how you then manage uh, efficiently with that information. So really, when you start listening to those bells and whistles, when you start reacting to all of those uh, um, you know, alarms and alerts of your, your emails coming in, and, and the uh, you know the tweets, the the messages, the the pings, the the you know the invitations to go and play crush crush candy. Just think about what you should be doing during your working day in terms of your your business focus, um, and um, and watch what happens to your productivity. Uh, not an action that's going to happen overnight. It will take a lot of, of emphasis, and I think as a result of that, tomorrow I want to talk a little bit about how you can really start to focus on changing these habits. So when I say about stop it, it is easy. Some of you will go out there and you can stop it right now uh, and, and really change. Others will struggle because there is almost that random reinforcement. It's, like a, it's almost, I guess, like a gambling addiction. You're pulling the lever down on a, you know, on a, a fruit box and, and watching the cherries come in. They don't come in that often and the odds are all stacked against you. So start getting efficient with your time. Stop re responding to all that information that's coming through and start thinking about actually how you can really get focused on uh, being more productive with your time. So, till tomorrow, have a great evening. Bye-bye.